Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to another episode of Tension Team Outdoors. Sorry that I haven't made a video in a very long time. Um, during hunting season, I filmed, but I didn't ki kill a deer on film because the day that I killed my deer, it was snowing, and I didn't really want to deal with the camera and stuff then, but I did get an A-pointer. Um, sorry I couldn't share that with you guys, but now it is ice fishing season and there's a lot of videos that come with that and this year i purchased a new otter as you can see right behind me um so before i had the otter xt pro cabin um i didn't use it but i bought it because i got a good deal on it and it's it's just not it's not as big as i wanted it to my dad has a pro lodge and I just had to go with it because it's more roomy and I fish a lot in the winter and go to Minnesota so it just makes more sense for me to get that. But I'm going to do a little review on it and yeah so um, it's all thermal. It's the 2017. I just got it at the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show um, in Minneapolis. but. Set it up yesterday. As I said, my dad has one and I fished out of it, so it so I knew what it was and I know I wanted to get it. But anyways, so going in it, um it's the pro, so it has a two the two swivel seats. Uh it's got the door in the back so you can access your stuff a little easier. It's got the wind wind stabilizer bars back there um, it fits too very comfortably and there's there's a lot of space in here very very comfortable for one fisherman two is perfect but yeah um, it stays super warm setting up setting it up is really it's it took me like three three and a half hours but it's super self-explanatory. Let's get some lighting, um, especially with the directions because it it's just it's just really easy. Um, the hardest part, or I won't say the hardest, but the most annoyingest, annoyingest. It's not really a word, but the frustrating part is getting getting these little plastic things on in the back. They go all the way around. I wouldn't say that it took long but it's just it's just a bitch um the number one thing you want to make sure when you put them on is that it's pulled tight because you don't want it loose uh, otherwise the screws in there um they pop out and then you just have a really big mess but the poles or the frame i should say is really easy. Um, there's four four pieces, and that didn't take too long. But if you do get one of these, I would highly recommend getting getting the high facts because it'll save your shanty a lot, and it'll just last longer. They're pretty simple to put in, just a lot of a lot of nuts and bolts, but not too bad. Um, there's a couple things you can get with these otters. You can get a center console, which my dad has, and it's super nice. Um, I'm going to pick one up. You can get a big light bar for the top for fishing when it's super dark out. And just a couple, like, coat hangers and stuff in there. But just to show you, when, when I'm in here right now, I mean, it's pretty light, but... Once, once I take this door and zip it, um, this shanty blocks out a lot of light, which is super nice. So if you're an ice fisher, you know that, um, you know that when it's dark, it's a little easier to see your camera, Vexlar, or whatever you guys fish with. Um, it's got a little little velcro thing to hold the door open 
But yeah, so all around, the Otter is probably one of the best, uh, best portable sleds, shanties, whatever you want to call it, um, out there right now. They're super comfy. They stay incredibly warm. They block out a lot of wind. Um, the sled, the sled, it has a lot of room to carry your stuff. But if you, it de depending on the kind of fishing you do, um, you can get the resort, which is super big. Um, it's very comfortable for three people, but it's just, it's kind of heavy and wide and it's just too much for me. The pro is perfect if you want to do one man fishing or take your kid or your friend or whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, it's just the best for me. All around, the setup is easy. Like I said, those screws and the plastic things in the back, it's probably the most annoyingest part. But um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll answer them for you. But other than that, have a good night and thank you for watching.